Now we're going to look at using phasing to do remodels or renovations of a simple single family home. We'll first take a look at performing the demolition operations in order to clear the way for our new construction. I'm going to focus here in here on this kitchen and breakfast area. This will be the the target of our remodel. Zooming in on the first floor floor plan, we can prepare for our demolition activities. There's two modes of there's two methods for demolishing an element in Revit. The first is to select the item and then to go directly to its properties where we can designate the phase demolished as renovation phase or the phase that we're in now. For each element, I can go ahead and change that phase demolished from never to renovation. And they will disappear from the renovation floor plan, which is only showing existing or new construction. Another way is to use the shortcut demolish tool, which does effectively the same thing, but in one single click. We can go through and click on each object and they disappear. It is, again, in the properties, it's doing the same thing, changing the property of the, deme of the phase demolished to renovation. Now before we demolish our walls, we want to split the walls to isolate out the segments of wall to be demolished. In other words, to create those wall segments to separate the demolished part to be demolished from the part to stay. I can also demolish this wall. When I do that, you can see a new wall segment comes in to fill in that hole. That's considered new construction. Anytime I demolish a wall or window, it will fill in with the adjacent wall material. We'll go in and put some new cabinets, I'm sorry, a new door opening under the, which is under the component tool. I'm going to change that opening to be nearer to the front door in order to have, in order to leave free more room in the living room for the entertainment center. What we're going to do is create a small partition wall or half wall of only about three, three and a half feet, which is going to wrap around the kitchen and create a sort of counter and bar area. We'll create this wall out at a 45 degree angle. I can make it an arbitrary length because later I will trim it. And then another wall segment going straight down that's not at a 45 degree angle, but rather parallel to this wall down here. I can draw it first to be around three feet, and then I can trim it, I'm sorry, align it so that it align with this nearby kitchen wall to have a clean line. Using the trim tool, I can take off that extra segment of wall that I don't need, and there I have my the wall formation I, I'm looking for. And in a 3D view, the 3D renovation view, we see the new construction. We're going to put some base cabinets on the kitchen side of this wall, upon which we'll put a countertop. So I'll go to my existing components and choose something called the cabinet raised door with one door and put it on this wall, another on this other small wall, and on the angled wall I'll have room enough to put a two door cabinet. And upon these three cabinets, I'll rest a cabinet island, a kitchen island countertop. 
And we'll do that as a model in place component since it has a custom shape. We'll call it the island counter. And using the pick tool, it'll be a solid extrusion that I can draw using the pick tool, defining an offset of one inch off of the base cabinets to give a small overhang. can draw the first base lines and later trim. There's my one inch overhang. Then for the others, I'll have it, I'll have no offset since it'll be flush to the wall. Here again, a one inch overhang. Great, now I'm ready to trim. TR is the shortcut. I pick the closest ends of the line that stay. To connect up gaps. And trim excess line. And make a clean loop that's closed and has no overlaps. I'll set my extrusion start to be two foot ten and a half, which is the top of my counter, up to three foot. So this countertop has an elevation of three feet, a comfortable kitchen countertop height. We'll give it a material as countertop so that it renders well. And when I'm finally finished placing my counter, which has a counter on one side and a bar on the other, this is the final result. I've added chairs and a, and a new kitchen table, and we see the new remodeled kitchen. That's in the 3D renovation plans. And if we go to the demolition plans, we can see in red, which is the demolition uh, phase filter, visibility graphics filter, that everything that is demolished or removed is in red.